Welcome everyone to this short instructional video designed to help you understand Google Classroom so that you can be a resource for your students in this era of distance learning. So for your students, Google Classroom is an extremely important tool because it is the place where teachers are going to be able to communicate directly with students and the whole class. Teachers are also going to be able to offer materials through Google Classroom, assign work through Google Classroom, and students will be able to both see what is on their Google Classroom for assignments as well as turn those assignments back in. So for parents, it's important to kind of understand the overall structure of Google Classroom so that you can help your students and also be familiar with what to expect with this tool. Let's check one out. So when a student logs in to Google Classroom using the uh, either on the student portal, they will use the Google Classroom button or if they're on Clever, there's also a link on there. There's also a link on the Lincoln High student portal, or they can use the web address classroom.google.com. Once they have, then they can click on the Google Classroom that they are going to be working in. In this case, we'll choose this one, distance learning. So you click on it, and now you see here that if you look up at the top, there are three main pages for students. Today, we'll be focusing on stream and classwork. The stream page is a page where teachers are able to communicate with students by giving messages. It will also, if uh, in some classrooms, it'll also uh, kind of keep a log of assignments that have been assigned for students. If there are messages, there might be an opportunity also to um, uh, respond to that message. Some classrooms, students might be able to post a message for their students as well. So this is all on the stream page. Think of it like a social media site where all of the messages that you see start from top to bottom. So too do the messages and the log of activity on the stream page. Now let's go to the classwork page. Now, the classwork page, again, is a place where teachers are able to collect resources and provide assignments, and they are the very same place that students will be able to turn in those very assignments. You'll notice that on the left, you will see topics. See my cursor here? Topics. This is the place where if your student understands, okay, I'm about to work in this subject or do this activity, then it probably is under a topic. So you see in this particular classroom, there's a lot of activity. Well, rather than trying to find that, if they know what topic to go to, that will filter out and then they can find the activity. So in this case, let's click on Digital Notebook. And you'll notice that the feed now shortens to only those assignments that are under the topic of Digital Notebook. Now, when the student finds the assignment, all they have to do is click on that assignment. And here you will see the following. You might see a description of the assignment. And you will also see other resources that are attached to that particular assignment. Notice to the right over here that the work that the student has to do is right here. It says your work over here to the right of that says assigned. So all the student has to do is click on that. And once they've clicked on it and completed that work, they can come back into Google Classroom and click on turn in. Again, they click on the work that will open up on their web browser. They complete the work and then they can come back and click on turn in. Let's head back where we were, okay? We are on the classwork page and we can go to another topic. And again, on that topic, what you see here is a, another set of assignments that are aligned to that particular topic. Again, the student clicks on the assignment. 
if there is particular work that they have to do, they put it, they will find it over here on the right. And if there are any videos, if there are any websites, any resources that are connected to that assignment, they will find that under here and they can click on it and they will open up that resource. Again, this is all under the classwork page in Google Classroom. So today what we've covered is the stream page. Again, the stream page is a log of activity, much like a social media feed from top to bottom. It is also a place where teachers can communicate with students and vice versa. Then you have the classwork page. And on the classwork page, what you will see is a list of assignments and resources that the students are being asked to do and turn back in. Remember that you can find your assignments easier when you click on the topic they are under. These are the two main places that you need to know in order to assist your student with Google Classroom. Please reach out to your teacher if you have any questions and have a great day.